months of dismal figures, new home sales jumped an astounding 27% last month. Joining us now with her take on the numbers and why your location determines whether you should rent or buy is the host of HGTV's My House is Worth What and founder of the Kendra Todd Group. Kendra Todd, great to see you today. Oh, and likewise. Okay, so what's behind these numbers? It sounds so positive, 27% 20 up in just one month. Well, it all makes sense because the government tax credits are about to expire. We've got about a week to go, and people are making the rush to get a contract in before April 30th. Now, one month does not make a market, and new home sales were actually down the four previous months prior to March. And actually, existing home sales are down 2%. So we really can attribute it to the fact that people are rushing to get those contracts in to take advantage of that tax credit. All right, and you say for a lot of people when they're making these important decisions about buying or renting mm -hmm. as well, there's so many things that factor in, but your geography or location may have a lot to do with it. Let's talk about yeah. uh, best places to buy. Well, I think there's no better time to talk about it than right now. So if you're thinking about maybe buying to take advantage of the tax credit, get out your calculator and do something very simple, and that's uh, calculate the rent ratio. Take the average purchase price of a home in your area and divide it by the annual cost to rent a similar house. If that number is below 20, you're in a market where you should consider possibly buying. If it's above 20, then you should probably continue to rent. Okay, so some of the best places to buy, we've got a graphic up for people to take a look there. Uh, let's see, best places to buy, it's better to buy in New York, Los Angeles, Florida, Phoenix, and Las Vegas. So why does it work out that way in, in those particular markets? Well, most of these are the biggest bubble markets where prices uh, increase the most and so they fill the most. And you can actually buy properties in some of these areas at below replacement costs. That coupled with the fact that you've got interest rates around 5%, the tax credit, and it's a perfect storm to buy real estate. And whenever you can buy for less than the cost of renting, it absolutely makes sense. But the one thing we have to take out of the equation is equity. Uh, that's not something that you can bank on, and I think everyone kind of learned their lesson the hard way after the last few years. Certainly did. Okay, so now let's talk about the markets where it may be a better idea for you to rent. We've got that as well for people to take a look. San Francisco, Seattle, Portland, Manhattan, and Orange County, California. I mean, some great places to live. But better to rent than buy for now? Well, I think it depends. I live in Seattle, and I think that's true in the city core, but you drive 10 minutes outside, and it's a totally different story. It might not be the best time to buy, but if you are a homeowner in one of these areas, that's great news for you because there was less of a bubble, and so that people have lost less in value of their homes, and, you know, there's less people underwater in their mortgages as well. All right, Kendra, we always learn something new when you stop by. Great to see you. Thank you, Kendra Todd. My pleasure. Well, up next.